was really by going through the system, even if you play by the rules, you're still wrong. You're still going to get that yellow card and even that red card. So even if you play by the rules, it's not enough. It's not enough. In other words, it will never be enough. It will never be enough. So the point to realize there is that even by going through the system, we haven't even achieved our objective, our interest for the Muslim community. So we know that's not working. But, but, but having now mentioned those points, brothers, I still want to uh, sort of take on a different point and, and mention this before I close. Is that, okay, now just because, now just because Muslims not working through the system, it doesn't mean now that all of you are going to go out and take the law into your own hands. Does, is that what it means, brothers? Just because if you don't, for example, vote, or you don't join Labour, or you don't join Conservative, or you don't join Liberal Democrats, are you going to put a bandana around your face and go around breaking streets and lawlessness? Are you going to do that, brothers? No. no. But why is it the media, why is it the media says young people who don't vote, who don't go through the political process, who don't go through the government and work through these government parties, that somehow... The, the media say, well, these people probably want to break up the country, probably want to threaten the country. They want to do anarchy. And this is what is pushed in the media. If you're not involved in their politics, they brand you as being some kind of extreme, extremist. Oh, so you don't want to work for the government. Well, you want to blow up now. Or you want to take it over now. Or you, know, so you want to hang, hang from the lamppost here and break stuff. Or is that what you want to do? What do you want then? What do you want? Can you see how we're attacked? Just because if we don't go through, the, through their process, they brand us as being anarchists, as lawlessness. So you don't want any law then? So you don't want, the, you don't want to work through this government? You, you, you don't want any law? And that's clearly false, brothers. That is clearly to create panic in us. Not only in us, but the wider Muslim, uh, non-Muslim community as well. Look at these Muslims. They're not working with us, so they probably want to bring us down. They want to take over this country. You know, to subjugate everyone, bring everyone under Islam rule, <coughs> force everyone. That's the impression which they give. And we know this is clearly false, brothers. All of you, many of us are not involved in the government process, yeah, of doing politics. Yet, they've got jobs. People help the community. Maybe some of you even know people like that. There are many, many, many people who are not working through these political parties, Labour, Conservative, Liberal, Democrat, Yet, they're doing just as much work in the community, just as much voluntary work in the community, just as much work in the community to help with drugs and to talk about Muslims', Muslims issues in this country and abroad. We know many people who, who aren't lawless, who take the law into their own hands. So this is a scare tactic. Another one. You know, we know that voting's coming up, yeah? Another argument that people want to give us is that if you don't vote, if you don't vote, then that must mean that you want to stay separate from society. You Muslims don't vote, it means you want to go into your own little communities and, live, and don't want to connect with other, other communities. You want to live in isolation, away from everyone. That's another argument given about Muslims in the media. Oh, so these Muslims, look at them, they don't vote, brown people. So what they want to do, they want to live amongst themselves. But that's not true either. How many of you in this room have actually voted? Alhamdulillah, none of you have voted. Now, does that mean, does that mean, brothers, do any of you live separate, away from everyone, you have no friends, you don't contact anyone? Is, is that true, brother? No. Do you have friends? <laughs> do, you, do, you, do you go out and chill out yeah. with your mates? Yeah. Yeah, do you, do you know, do you, do you have internet? <coughs> do you have a mobile phone? Yeah, do you cost? Do you chill? Can you see? You all do these things, so you're all living a normal life. But why is it that people are telling us that if we don't vote, you're not, you're somehow you're being separate from everyone? Well, if you don't, brothers, just proved it wrong. You don't vote, but yet still, you know, you've got your own normal lives. You hang out with your mates, eat nice food, a lot of food, I hope, yeah? You know, so things like that. So be careful. Be careful. What these videos are trying to do, they're trying to get people to bully them bully them into going through the process and the system of this country. Well, you don't have to. You don't have to. But if you don't, you're going to be branded Islamic Republic sympathizer or something. You know, oh, you want terrorism in this country. Oh, you must be terrori a terrorist then. 
So you've got to be careful of these things. These videos are there to really bully us into doing it the way that the, certain, uh, the government wants it to be done a certain way. And we know, just to track back, we know that we are here to please Allah. We are here to please Allah. Pleasing Him is our objective, even if it means dis displeasing other people. Our main aim is the rida, is the pleasure of Allah. And we don't want to please anyone else, because no one else can help us. No one else has any power. No one else has any strength. No one else has any might except Allah. So, really, just to summarize very, very, very quick, quickly, the first point, be aware <coughs> that, of course, there is a program running all the way across the different levels of the government where there is a kind of Islam that's been given to us, or not given, actually, forced on us, that says Islam should be separated from everything else you do except your personal life. That's the first thing you've got to remember. The second thing is, we believe in Allah and His Messenger and we believe in the standard given by them. That's what it means to be a Muslim. We believe in the standard of Allah and the standard of the Messenger of Allah. Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And then of course, we believe that also that it, you know, it is going to be Islamically problematic to try and work through the system because it means we've got to believe certain things against our belief and we've got to do certain things against our standard, our Sharia. So we were in a bit of a double pickle there. And lastly, to remember that people are going to try and brand you as a radicalist, as a terrorist, as an extremist, as a separatist, <coughs> as a God knows what else under the rainbow, that if you don't vote or you don't go through the political way, you must be uh, some kind of extremist and all those labels that I mentioned. So just to be aware of those brothers, and I'll, I'll end it there.